welcome and welcome back to my living room <laughs> this is my house every year on very clean look i really do like that but this year christmas girl <laughs> santa literally came to my house but here i was showing you guys what my living room looks like also how i had my plan like i I already planned this year's living room last year so I was looking at the things I'm gonna take off and things I am going to be leaving for the Christmas um, decoration so let's get started so the first thing I like to do is to always bring up my tree guys I feel I so sorry for the Christmas tree because for like 11 months they are stuck in the bag <laughs> I bring them out I always give them like special love I take my time to lay everything down and also I like to always put my um, tree skirt first because I hate going under the tree and be talking mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not meant for that life so the first thing I always do is pull my tree skirt on and I'm reusing this and also this year I didn't buy a lot of stuff we'll talk about that later but it's now time to bring out the Christmas tree they've been in that box for 11 months and they look really dead so they needed some TLC I literally did take my time to sort them out to fluff them I think this is the most important part of the tree if you want a very nice and beautiful Christmas tree take your time to flock them out go by each branches and open them up and and just show them love like look at this tree this is the third time or well the third year i'm using this tree and uh, the, it's still going really really well so i did take my time take every branches out and fluff them properly i think this tree i got from sainsbury's i have two of these trees i got them from sainsbury's and they are pretty late and they also have um pine cones in them and at my tree is about 10 feet tall nine or ten feet i can't remember because i've thrown the box away um as you guys can see in here i'm taking my time just to fluff it out and of course something is inside and this is the tree light up i did look at this tree and i was like girl you look tired and that's my small tree and i also have all my decoration as i said i've planned everything since last year so what i did to this tree i kept looking at it looking at it looking at it but i just thought the best thing for this tree is to add more light and guys the next stage is my finish <laughs> If you're looking at it, it's giving me coco. -co -co. Oh, look at my sweet kiss, Daniel. Let's, I'm sure I was playing some of his song here, but prelated, added more light, put all my ornaments inside this tree, and this is giving me life. This is what I wanted when I was talking about Christmas. Like, I want my house to look like Santa's house fully decorated this is too much too much decoration you guys will see but let's listen to kiss daniel are you ready if kiss daniel if you copyright me kiss daniel come on don't kiss down down to see see eh, eh. you're beautiful from that to to eh. oh yeah see see you're beautiful oh this song has finished anyway as we move from the christmas tree we moved to this side of the wall this place was really plain before didn't know what to do but you guys remember that we went to what's this place called again b and q to find that garland i'm not sure what this garland is useful but i needed a a decorative piece on this um space because i love these two pictures so i went to b and q if you watching my last vlog you will see that's actually the last place i decorated so i pick up this garland i think it's for table but when i put it on the on the wall it, it was standing you guys can remember this part of the vlog but i did because i needed to put something on that space so this was all done in b and m and this is what i've done to it i really like it because i didn't want that wall to be plain as i said it's like my house is maximalist like look at look at my shelf before 
and look at what we have now this is one of the projects that i did this year this shelf and i really i was looking forward to these like um, oh my god i'm coming I belong to you in all situation. I belong to you in every way. I want to thank you for all that you've done. For years I've been lost, now I am found. Without you in my life, I have nothing. I'm down on my knees, I am begging. Okay, Lord, I need your help. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, for your glory and your mercy. You always make a way, even when I go astray. live here <laughs> and um i thought i would show you guys properly like the things like i really didn't get a, anything this year everywhere is dark <laughs> everywhere is dark i didn't get anything new this year um everything i have i've had or i've collected for like eight years so this is my obsession with christmas but um i'm going to show you guys everything and i i've just turned the christmas tree up i like how i did this year's one it's just one switch and the two trees would turn on so you guys have seen i was just editing over there these are the trees added more light to it use we use all my ornaments that i have and underneath there we have some fig trees <laughs> fake present and we have this little oh i love this because we can also turn this light on it's all about the lighting the ambience it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and everywhere is dark in the london that we live the tv is not on this tree used to be in the boys room so i basically just used this one and this one this year i really wanted a traditional christmas um What's that thing called? Christmas. I'm turning on all the lights so you guys can see. In here also, we have Santa. If you guys remember, 
if you're very old if you've been on my channel for a very long time you know that most of my decorations and things that i own are from charity shop i remember so well picking up the santa from the charity shop but guess what he's had two more kids he's had jd and he's had jordan and they are guiding the christmas tree over there so in my head this skinny trees is for the kids they have their present and this is me princess <laughs> I have this little man standing here. I think this was kind of the stuff I got last year. And he's just standing over the Christmas tree. Let's move closer and see something new that I've learned with Christmas decoration. You need a lot of lights. I bought this warm thing. They are warm lights. They're called warm lights. If you want your aesthetics to look like this, this lights are called warm lights. I've just used all the red decoration and you need picks, guys. Buy a lot of these picks. I guess some from Primark, B&M, b &Q. Just use different ones and stuff them inside the trees. Like when you come in, when you look at the tree, you just don't see. You, I don't know how to explain it, well. I watch all these people that decorate Christmas trees and they did explain like you need to stuff things inside so <coughs> so the, the <coughs> so the tree really looks nice look at this ornament I definitely know I picked this up from the charity shop and we have this bling bling they all just make everything look very beautiful and look at this one as well it's so gorgeous and also this one and I also put all this Picks just to make it very you know very luxurious and where where do we go i think i shouldn't oh i didn't show you guys this i have this lit most of the light in the evening we turn everything on and everything it looks like santa's house here but we we'll start collecting christmas decoration not christmas decoration what's this thing called presents thank you jordan don't know why you're whispering <laughs> Um, so I can let Christmas present and when we come down here, that's our mother of Jordan. They live here, they stay here. Wait, this Christmas decoration. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, ten. Oh, Lord. oh, you want that one to be bigger? Yeah. But it's the scaling, I don't want too big Christmas tree, everything will look squash off. Mm. Okay, so you want two big trees, yeah. but okay, next time. Um, and we have this table. A lot of stuff always happening on this table. I mean, we should not forget the reason why we're celebrating Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ. So I have this little nativity scene here. And we have all, all of my The White Company's um, book. They always send this every year. This is for this year. I really like it. I like to put them here so I can get inspiration of like places that I want to it gives like inspiration of things I like all this book I really I actually do read them but this is this year's one and they always give you like 15% off this is this year my skill so I have all of that in there I have my uni work here but the three wise men and the donkeys are uh, all of them are sitting here and i give jesus a little star to shine and when you come to my house you get all you can also eat forever which is almost done um and all of that so we have that here we have a little chair here i bought this chair downstairs because i really want this place to be very cozy everybody should come and sit down and enjoy themselves and we have this oh. I'm just waiting for my Santa. That is definitely me. I'm waiting for my Santa. That's so cute, very demure. And here, just and we have Uncle Jordan mm -hmm. smiling. <laughs> Why are you smiling? And we have all my shelves. All of these are things I have since last year. The only thing that I think I got this year are this rain there. Oh my gosh. You guys remember the whole. I got the rain there and the rat as well. Or oh, the mice. Is it rat or mice? That one there. 
squirrel. Squirrel? That's not squirrel. Squirrel have fluffy bum bum. This one, the tail is very... Mouse. It's a mouse, so yeah. I have that mouse over there. And I have that as well. I got this one from Lidl last year. Just like a little... Um, choir singing and I feel like it would be nice if bear should be with it. None of this makes sense but it makes it looks like a Christmas house like a traditional Christmas house with too much decoration. This is what I I I I want and you know it's 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 really beautiful and these are my my other ring there as well. This was the brook and I had to do some surgery on their legs. This white one and we have this pine cone as well. They smell so nice. I got them from B&M. They smell so nice. So they are like decorative piece. See? It's kind of how I rearrange or reuse some stuff that I, I already own in the house. I also have that angel. All these ones. This is battery operated. It does turn on, but I don't have time for putting battery all the time. Oh, this one has turned on. This one is on timer. So it turns on and turns off by itself. But this is that's this is this space let me take all these things away what's in your hand take it off so that i can last but not the least is this place i feel like i've showed you guys all this place before so there's no need to go and this is me with my bonnets oh look at that i don't know i just say maybe this one should have been big but then i like it i like the scale of the tree a big tree and a small tree. i feel like if there was two trees it would be too squash i love it anyway guys thank you so much i just don't want to give you guys a 10 minutes or um something minutes um vlog of the living room we have been enjoying this and we still have one more month to enjoy the living room i love it anyway guys thank you so much i hope i've shown you guys everything so i can edit this vlog and you guys can enjoy it i think i have shown you guys everything in the living room we still have the hallway i can show you guys and we are also going to be decorating my bedroom yes finger cross i'm gonna put a tree in my room as i said in one of the vlogs so we're gonna do that together but i've done my Christmas. look at that now i i know the trick for christmas tree now it's good lighting you guys need to buy extra extra lights and you will enjoy your tree anyway guys thank you so much for coming to my living room and i'll see you guys next time bye guys Da 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 da